What's up you guys? Avery here and I wanted to bring you guys a brand new deck profile for the brand new Forbidden and Limited List format. This is of course Dogmatica Invoke Shadal. Now, I should say I really don't own a majority of these cards, if any of them, quite honestly, uh, besides some cards in the side deck, but the side deck's kind of irrelevant because we don't know what the side deck's going to look like in the new format. Uh, but if COVID wasn't a thing, um, because I don't do remote duels, I think that they're bullshit like I've talked about in the past, uh, this would be the deck that I would be taking to events and playing. So I figured that I would show off the deck that I would technically be playing if events were around, because really all I've shown off in the past couple formats is Mystic Mind, and I don't need the community thinking that I'm cancer. So, without any further ado, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button, that ding-dong notification bell. The boy might be coming back to YouTube to post on a regular basis. Who knows? Maybe if uh, you like the video, leave a comment. We'll, uh, we'll find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. But, until then, this is Dogmatica Invoked Shadal. So, let me be honest right off the bat. I looked at my Dogmatica Invoked Shadal build. I looked at the ban list, and I said, this is fine, and we kept it the same. <laughs> like, literally, nothing got hit in this fucking list. Like, if, if you just look at your screen, nothing got hit. So, literally, if you are a Dogmatica player, a Shadal player, an Eldritch player, an Emancipator player, for the couple of you that are still around, <laughs> um, the deck is still good. Like, it's still really, really good. It still operates the same. So, let's just go ahead and get into our uh, choices here. Or into the deck list here, if I could speak. We're playing the one driver with the three gamma. Um, yeah, it's it's still going to be a good hand trap. I'm calling it now. It's still going to be busted. We're playing three Nibiru because, with my luck, the opponent is just going to go first and drop a Dookie on my board. And I'd rather drop a big Rock Turd on their board. We are also playing one Fleur de Lis, one Maximus. I've been going back and forth on this card. One Shadal Beast, two Squamata, double Ecclesia, double Alistair, one Ariel, Triple Wendy, one Hedgehog, and three Ash Blossom. Some people play three Alistair, some play one. I like two. Um, it I've noticed playing with three that it just seems a bit too bricky and one. I really don't draw enough. Even with the three Meltdown, I just feel like I'm so reliant on it at one copy uh, that if I just if I get ashed, like even with the tactical talents in my hand, like if I can't draw two cards and one of them being an Alistair, like I'm just gonna cry. Uh, the one Ariel and the Triple Wendy. Um, I feel that overall the Shadal package itself is a good number. Uh, keep in mind too that the Invocation and uh, your Shadal fusions and your El Shadal fusion uh, can double up uh, to summon other monsters. Uh, more specifically, Invocation, um, you don't have to necessarily make an Invoke. You can make like a Construct or something else, you know, what have you. Uh, so that has come up and that has been very good, especially in mirror matches uh, or even in uh, the Eldritch matchup. So I very much like this card. And then for the traps, we're playing uh, one Punishment and one uh, Schism. Literally, your game plan with this deck is to go first. Uh, best case scenario, you set up like a Punishment in the back row with a Schism that can pop off a window whenever you want. Uh, and with a Makaba on board um, to have a Negate. And that's very easy to pull off in this deck, and it is fairly consistent to pull off. And I can't tell you how many times people have just rage quit on me online once I've got this set up. Like, I'll have, like, a Makaba on board with a Schism set. They'll activate a Drytron in hand, tribute his cost. I'll chain Schism. And this isn't even this format. This is from last format. They activate a Drytron. I chain Schism. I get out the window. They get out the Drytron. They use the Ben 10 to search, and then they rage quit. Because it just shuts them down. Winda is busted in this deck. And then for the extra deck, we're playing one Dragon Master Knight, one Makaba, three Construct, one Bastard Dragon, one Augadice, one Purgatrio, two Apocalone, two Window, one Ints. I really want to bump this up to three, but I don't have the space. And then I'm opting to use the Secure Gardener and All Mirage Engine. I know that other builds as of recent have played different things. Um, like Andre Torres, I don't think he actually played All Mirage and Secure Gardener. I think he played two other cards. But I took those two cards out because I wanted the other, I wanted these two cards instead of like Gravity Controller and whatever else he was playing. Just because like I feel so naked without it. Like I love being able to just dump my Alistair into the grave, go into All Mirage, and then go into the Secure Gardener. Um, and there have been times too where like I've used the Secure Gardener. 
like just as a way to not take any effect damage. Like I've played against Mystic Mine, like you know, in let's say game two or something, you're trying to dig for an out to their shit, <laughs> and you just sit on a secure guard, and they're forced to play out two Cauldron of the Old Man, um, or you can sit on it just to protect yourself from damage, um, or of course fuse with it to go into Macaba. I just really like this two package better than like Gravity Controller or whatever else people have been playing. But that's just a personal preference. Side deck, I literally have not touched this since last format, so take this with a grain of salt. Uh, one Scythe, three Lancia, one Dragon, one Feather Duster, double Cosmic Cyclone, one Call by, three Sanctum, two Ice Dragon's Prison, and one Red Reboot. I feel like the Ice Dragon Prison is going to be bumped up to three, and Red Reboot is going to be taken out, just because you have to keep in mind that we still have Eldritch running around at full power. We still have Dragoons at three, so being able to go Ice Dragon's Prison to get the Dark Magician from their grave and then banish both it and the Dragoons is just so good. Um, it really has a lot of different utilities. I feel like the Artifact Engine is still going to be pretty good. Um, you can basically swap out your Shadal Engine for the Artifact Engine, and then at that point you're playing Dogmatica Invoked uh, Artifact. Wouldn't that be Dot or Dat? D? D I don't know. <laughs> so... Yeah, um, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned the spells or not. Uh, three Nadir Servant, two Tactics Talent, three Shadal Fusion, two Invocation, one El Shadal, three Magical Meltdown. I think I skipped the trap, so I, I do apologize about that. <laughs> um, I like Triple Tactics Talent at two. Um, I feel like I see it a little bit too often at three, and it really is reliant on the opponent activating something on your turn. I do love, though, when you're able to bait out a Dragoon's Negate, and then you can just use Tactics Talent to uh, take control of one opponent's monster, and that doesn't target, so it's literally a change of heart. So, yeah, that's that's always nice. So, let's see. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. This is not a bad hand at all. You go Magical Meltdown into uh, the Alistair. Alistair searches you Invocation. You go for the Almirage into Secure Gardena. You play the Invocation, make Macaba. You're sitting on two hand traps. Uh, so technically one negate in hand, plus you haven't negated the Macaba, and then you're sitting on what? You're sitting on these four cards in your hand. This is on the board. Um, and then you also have the Alistair in your hand because you sent that back off of uh, Invocation. So yeah, you have a spell and monster negate in the form of Macaba. You have the Ashes in negate, and if they somehow break your board, you got the Nibiru. I think that's pretty good. Uh, let's see, shuffle one, two, three, four, five. Uh, this isn't amazing, but yet you do have the Alistair, so that's always nice. If they don't ask you, you just set the punishment, set up the Macaba, uh, and then you're sitting on a monster to gain the form of Macaba, and then a double pop interrupt with punishment. So your opponent is, in theory, playing with like a three card hand in their opening hand. Uh, so yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's it's very consistent. Um, I like it a lot better than Missing Mind, quite honestly. So. Guys, please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think. Is there anything that you would change for the new format? I know that it's technically day zero of the new format because it doesn't start until the 15th. Um, but please let me know what you think in the comments below. And maybe you can edit this to how you want it. And um, let me know of any changes that you have. So guys, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.